Hello and welcome to a Crafty Peaks tutorial where we'll be turning that old ratty leather helmet into a spiffy new pair of sunglasses that you can dye any colour. I'm Johnny Wood and this video is going to teach you how to do a couple of things. How to easily create your own resource pack, how to upscale assets so that you've got more pixels to play with, and how to look cool doing it. Let's immediately look at what a resource pack is. So I've made a couple of resource packs. Done. Boop. Back to game. So as you can see here, I've converted the leather helmet into a pair of glasses because I need them to see. Uh, I've also edited the standard bed, uh, specifically the black bed, so that it looks more in style with the kind of Twin Peaks aesthetic that I was going for when I was building my house. Uh, and these are the kind of little tweaks that will only show up in my game, but I really like them. And it means when I run around and when I see my character in game, I can see that they are, you know, a little bit more customized. Another cool thing is if you are holding these particular items, they actually look like the item. Isn't that cool? And you can put them on an item frame, boop, and they look exactly like the item. So let's get into it. Now, what I'm doing may look a little bit technical, but I promise that all we're doing is copying and editing files to make our own resource pack. All you'll need is the PC version of Minecraft, any image editor, I'm using Photoshop, but you could use GIMP or Paint, an archive tool like WinRAR, and a text editor because we need to make a file called a pack.mcmeta. Maybe it's MC Meta, but I'm Irish, and that's very easy to make. The full details of it are on the Minecraft wiki, and the link is in the description below. Uh, so, let's make our own resource pack. I'm going to turn off this one. So these are the packs you will see by default, and we want to make our own. So open. So this is great. This is what we want. In the Minecraft folder, we're in the folder resource packs, and you can see I've got a couple in here already. Uh, you can choose which ones you want to turn on or off at any time. But what we're going to do immediately is go down to versions, 0.5, and copy this jar. Copy. I'm going to bring this up to resource packs. I am going to paste the item here. The jar file is just a Java archive file. So what we're going to do is open it with the archive utility on Mac, but it could be WinZip or whatever you'd use to unzip a file on PC. Uh, once we have that unarchived, I can move this to the bin and I'm going to edit this name. So what we want to do now is grab the files from in here. So from Originals, Assets, Minecraft, Textures. We have all of the textures are in the game. We want to make our own resource pack by editing these textures. And I'm immediately going to go to Models and Armor. And I can see that I've got all the armor in here. Boop. Really small, but we can fix that. Uh, what we're going to do, coming back to this resource pack level, new folder, sunglasses. You're going to put pack McMeta here. This is a file that you can get from the wiki. All this is is a little piece of code that says that this sunglasses folder is a resource pack. The six just indicates what version of Minecraft it runs on, and you can put anything you want in here. Boop. Once that's in here, we pretty much have a resource pack. All we need to do is add a folder structure that matches this and brings us to the item that we want to duplicate. So we want assets, Minecraft, textures, models. Assets, Minecraft, textures, models. And using the originals as a guide, assets, Minecraft, textures, models, armor. We're going to grab the ones we want. So I want the leather armor. Let me expand that out. I can see that the leather helmet is here as part of this armor set. So I am going to grab this and the overlay. Boop. Copy. And come all the way back to sunglasses, textures, models, armor, and paste two items. We now have a resource pack. So what we're going to do is grab this file and bring it into Photoshop. In Photoshop at 100%, you'll notice that it's pretty small. You also will notice that this is gray. The reason that this is grayscale is because it is colorized in game so that when you dye it, it can shift colors. So let's do that as an example. I've added a red overlay layer to this 
and as I shift it, you can see all the colors that the armor can be. That's great. That uh, means that exactly the same thing will happen with our sunglasses. So we want to make some sunglasses here. I'm just going to grab the pencil tool, create a new layer, set the color to black and start drawing. The area we want to draw in is here, if you can see that. Uh, that is the front of the helmet. So that's where our sunglasses need to be. The problem is I don't have a lot of pixels to play with. If I start drawing here, it's going to look pretty basic. Not really the cool sunglasses I want. So what we're going to do is upscale this. What I'm going to do is go to edit and image size, and we want to double this in size. That would mean bring this to 128, or you can just do this, 200, oof. And that makes everything into an absolute mess because Photoshop tries to smooth everything out and help you out when you're upscaling things. We don't want that. So what we want to do is say, bring it up to 200%, but the color should go to the nearest neighbor. That means hard edges. Okay. And that looks much better. And now when we draw, we have oop, a lot more pixels to play with. I'm going to start in the middle oop, and draw out some shapes that I like. Let's see. I want it to go like this. And maybe out. What you can do as well, when you're drawing out shapes like this, what you can do is draw one half and then see V to copy and paste and flip horizontally and you will keep it symmetrical. So that is a useful way of doing things. Um, you can see I've gone a little bit outside the lines here of the yellow. That means that the sunglasses will wrap around the head a little bit. That's cool. I like that. Now that we have the basic shape, I'm going to I'm going to grab some of the grays from out here and use them to whoop, fill in the sunglasses because that will give us a much cooler look. I'm going to grab some of the grays from out here and fill in the sunglasses. The reason I want to use this gray is because that's what will get colorized. Cool. That looks about right to me. I'm going to turn off my guide layer that I turned on here. And when I zoom out, I can see that this all looks about right for me. What I want to do now is delete these pixels, which are the ones that represent the old leather helmet. And I want to keep these sunglasses. So I'm going to save this overwriting the file. Replace. Specifically with the leather helmet, you also need to open this file, which is the overlay, which is the little brown stripe that appears on the leather helmet. Whoop. And just select everything and delete it. Save. And back here, what we should have now is a set of leather armor that has been upscaled and we've added these sunglasses and an empty overlay so that we don't get the brown leather stripe that should appear on top of the helmet. Good stuff. Now that all that is done, we should be able to go back to the game, go into resource packs and see that there's a new one called sunglasses. Click, bring it in here, done, and back to game. You can see, oh, oh, the sunglasses are a little bit low on our face. Easily fixed. Back to Photoshop, grab these sunglasses. One, two, three, two. If you want to make edits to something, just unload the resource pack and load it back in once you're done with your edits. Can I see in the background? Yes, that looks much better. And you can see that because these set of sunglasses have not been dyed, you can see that they are the standard brown color that a leather helmet would be. But if I swap them, boop, I can have blue. If I swap them again, I can have red. Very nice. But you'll notice that these guys are not correct. And we want these things to look correct even when they are just being held in the hand. These still look like leather helmets. So we need to do one more thing. We need to go back to our resource pack folder and we need to add something else. So back to originals, assets, Minecraft, textures. And this time we go to item and you can see we've got all these guys. We want to get leather helmet, leather boots, same deal, leather helmet, leather helmet overlay, copy both, boop. Go back to sunglasses in resource packs, 
textures, models, well, under textures, item. Paste two items. Same deal again. Overlay. Gone. Save. Exit. Leather helmet. In. And we're going to delete what's currently here and draw a new one. And I'm not going to bother upscaling this one. I think it looks fine. I think this is going to look fine. That looks fine to me. Don't be afraid to go a little bit asymmetrical with this stuff. I think it'll look cool. So leather helmet PNG save. Let's go back here. We have leather helmet PNG and an empty guy. And we simply go back to the game. Unload. Done. Reload. Done. And we should see, yep, that all of the sunglasses now correspond. Boop, boop, boop. So, I'm wearing my green sunglasses. I'm holding my red sunglasses. Very nice. You can see that even the items have been dyed. So we've got undyed, blue, red, and lime green, probably. Not just normal green. But that's it. Last thing on resource packs is that when you are loading in resource packs, you will see that the order matters. So if I put sunglasses on top of this one, this one has my ordinary glasses and this one has the new sunglasses we've made. So you can see that this keeps the sunglasses, but my bed is here. So if you have a resource pack you like, you can overwrite just one or two things like these sunglasses, as long as you load them in in the correct order. There's the sun now. Beautiful. If you like this tutorial, like and subscribe and we'll make more like it. Thanks everyone. Staring at the sun. Very nice. Don't do that. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't actually stare at the sun.